Welcome back to Elevation 44. I'm B. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. And if you're returning, welcome back, family. Today, we are continuing on a series that we started a while back, and this is our Chakra Healing series, okay? And we are now up on our sixth video on our sixth chakra in this series and so today we're talking all about the third eye chakra okay and this um video is timely i didn't want to take this long to get this information out to y'all but you know i actually am working on a lot of things at once so sometimes it does take a minute to get this information out but i'm actually now happy in retrospect looking back at it that it took a while because i feel like it's timely especially with everything that's going on energy wise that this video come at this time because there are a lot of things that are about to happen um a lot of fast moving things and changes coming and you're going to need to be able to see beyond the physical things that are happening in a, in order to be able to interpret what's happening, you know, um, on a deeper level, okay? So the third eye is, like I said, your sixth chakra, and it's between the eyebrows, and this is what gives you your vision, your, the vision that counts, okay? Um, to, be, to be able to see beyond um, the physical, to be able to interpret, to be able to use your intuition, to, you know what I mean? To really be able to make the decisions and to understand what is happening on the grand scheme of things or the, the bigger scale of things, all right? All right, so the facts about this chakra, we're just gonna get right into it. We're not gonna waste too much time today. And I will say before I get started, if you are just now tuning in, this is your first video, I would like you to go back to the first video in this series. I have a whole playlist and I'm gonna link it here in this video or down in the description box where you can um, pretty much start from the beginning with the root chakra because that root chakra has to be balanced and open for you to even do anything else, okay? So start with the root chakra and work your way up to us. We're not going nowhere. We'll still be here when you're ready. The facts of this chakra is this is the sixth chakra. Again, it's between your eyebrows. The color associated with this um, chakra is indigo. And usually I try to wear the color in the video, but I don't have any indigo in my closet. You guys know I struggle with colors. It is not <laughs> anything new. I am a neutrals queen, okay? I don't have a lot of color in my wardrobe. But anyway, the element that is associated with this chakra is light. Um, the affirmation is I see. And the life lesson to be learned here is to use your insight and intuition. Again, seeing beyond the physical realm and, or the material realm physical material realm, same thing, okay? Now, the third eye chakra is our center of inner wisdom, intuition, and spiritual insights, okay? We touched on all of this in the beginning. Now, this is the energy that connects um, or interacts us or connects our body with, um, the con with consciousness, okay? So that is like really the importance of this. Um, it it kind of connects our individual consciousness to well, that's the next step. <laughs> the next step is the crown. I don't want to get ahead of myself. But for this particular chakra, it's connecting our body to the higher level consciousness. And then when we move to the crown, the crown is connecting our individual consciousness to the universal consciousness. So we'll talk about that in the next video, okay? But anyway, when this um, chakra is balanced, you are intuitive or have a deep knowing. You see beyond the physical. Um, your psychic abilities are strong. You're spiritually connected. You know what you want from life. That's a big one. A lot of people don't know what they want from life. And that's why I say this is probably one of the most important chakras that, I mean, they're all important. But this is one of the ones that are, that is probably the most out of balance and out of whack for most people. Okay. So you know what you want from life. You have a high ability of trust and you're very self-aware. So that's what it looks like in balance. When it's out of balance, you reject spirituality. You only focus on the physical and material plane or realm. You rely heavily on intellect and you're closed off to like new things, new ideas, new thought processes, anything like that. You do not trust yourself or follow inner guidance. Um, you have feelings of inadequacy. You're fearful or paranoid can have delusions and nightmares, depression and anxiety, okay? So that is a lot of what our collective deals with. So this, this chakra is 
very very important okay now the cause of imbalances here is usually around us not trusting ourselves um, and not being able to follow our intuition or our inner voice now I would say this spawns to me from really two major sources closed-minded communities um, and when I say closed-minded communities I definitely um, think that religion is one of the biggest um, contributors of this because it teaches or while they're um, <laughs> I'm trying to be careful because I don't want this to become a religious debate um, I have different thoughts I think very differently than a lot of people but religion for me in particular I believe teaches people how to think in herd like mentality and be closed off to expanding their mind beyond a certain set of things or principles or whatever it is that they want to teach okay so when you have a closed-minded community like that it restricts you restricts your mind it, it literally is programming your mind to be restricted same thing the second um, area that I would um, highlight that does this well is like a closed-minded like home like if you grew up with um, you know in a, in a family um, in your you know your parents your home was in a very closed-minded environment where again your thoughts you're not you're you're discouraged from thinking outside of the box you're discouraged from asking questions you're discouraged from any of that that literally breeds that closed-mindedness which then in turn breeds that not being able to trust yourself not being able to use your intuition you kind of lock that stuff away because it's like you are so heavily focused on being led or guided by what other people's thoughts are <laughs> that you never be you're never able to um you know strengthen that for yourself okay so to me that is the two uh, main sources of this um, that I can identify and I'm sure a lot of you will agree especially if you're kind of on the same like-minded wave but this is it right and then the next thing is ego dominant so again not trusting what we can't comprehend so sometimes we're so focused on um the ego especially the job of the ego is for to protect us you know people demonize the ego and say that the ego is bad the ego is not bad when it's in balance because the job of the ego is to protect us and sometimes we need protection especially in the world that we're living in today we do need that type of protection but the problem comes in is that the ego is so out of balance is so heavily skewed in the ego's favor that you know we're the ones taking the back seat the ego's running the show and then wreaking havoc so the the ego has to be constantly checked and put in the passenger seat if you have that ego in the passenger seat it can work to your benefit okay now <laughs> i will say that when that ego is in the driver's seat that the ego if it cannot comprehend or understand something if it cannot logically i guess wrap its mind around something then it has a hard time believing anything beyond what it can see or comprehend and so that is another thing that leads us to having our third eye you know out of balance because a lot of the third eye is trusting what you cannot see it's beyond the physical realm that is the whole point of it right and this, that's why it's the eye that sees beyond and this is why this eye is the most important eye that you have um, although our two physical eyes on our body are helpful for us seeing the physical realm we need to also see the spiritual realm we need to see beyond this because there's so much more beyond this right so these are the things that really are leading to the cause of imbalance here okay now the body parts that are associated with the chakra are the brain ears eyes nose and the nervous system okay so when we talk about nervous breakdowns anxiety depression like this is all stemming from third eye chakra issues okay so the physical symptoms headaches migraines sinus infections seizures blindness poor vision insomnia deafness how many people are struggling with insomnia right now you know how much I keep selling out of lucid dreams tea because people just can't sleep 
insomnia is huge right now, okay? Deafness, um, neuro neurologi neurological, <laughs> neurological issues, <laughs> learning disabilities, and brain tumors. So these are the physical symptoms that can manifest itself from third eye chakra blockage, okay? I could not pronounce neurological. Just need to slow down a little bit. Um, okay, so let's just talk about the ways that we can balance this energy center, okay? So some of the crystals I recommend you working with, amethyst, clear quartz, kyanite, lapis lazuli, fluorite, and lepidolite. And these are the best crystals that you can use for your, you know, third eye chakra, you can, um, which I'll get into in a minute, but you can use these crystals in a different ways. You can carry them on you, you can work with them in meditation. Um, there's just different ways that you can tap into the energies of these crystals, okay? The herbs that I would rec you, recommend you working with are lavender, eye bright, frankincense, mugwort, and valerian, okay? So these are great for opening up and balancing the third eye. Now, let's talk about some of the rituals, okay? So the first ritual that I would recommend is meditation. Meditation, meditation, meditation. I mean, if we're talking about the third eye chakra and seeing beyond, what better gateway than meditation, okay? Meditation is the number one thing that I would recommend for this energy center. Now, the way to meditate in this particular thing is to focus on this um, right between the brows. So when you close your eyes, you're going to concentrate your focus right between the brows. Now, what a lot of people's experience with this is, and mine included, is that when you do concentrate on that area, you start to see an indigo light, okay? That same color that is associated with this chakra is the light that you will see between your brows when your eyes are closed and you can feel that chakra opening up. Now, sometimes it can feel like a headache, Sometimes it feels really, really intense, like an intense pain or whatever, but just know that that is all a part of you opening up that energy center, okay, and balancing that energy. So it does not feel comfortable all the time when you're working on it, okay? Um, so you will see that indigo light. Another thing, if you find that you're blocked in meditation and you can't really make progress in that way, I would definitely um, recommend Reiki, you know, working with a healer, an energy healer that can help you unblock and um, balance out that energy center. Um, also, flame, looking at a candle, looking at candle light, um, gazing into a flame also helps strengthen your third eye. Sun gazing, don't look directly into the sun and also don't do it at peak sun time, okay? Don't do it at noon and be staring out into the sun. Do it when the sun is rising, when the sun is setting and don't look directly, kind of look off, you know what I mean? But those, that sunlight, those sun codes, the light codes that are coming in also help you to strengthen your third eye, all right? Now, here where the crystals come in, you can also do a crystal grid where you lie down. It's almost like the same thing like a meditation, but you're, it is meditation, but you're lying down and you can place those crystals, the ones that I've recommended, you can place them around your head. And then you can also, even if you just want to use one, just place a crystal on your third eye and literally, you know, lay down, close your eyes and focus and let that um, crystal, you know, do its magic on your third eye chakra while you're concentrating in that area, okay? So that is definitely um, uh, another thing that I would recommend. Now, another thing that's not really a ritual, but more so a habit, is mindfulness. Practicing mindfulness is key. Just really taking in your environment, disconnecting from technology or media, you know, different things from time to time, and being able to just you know, sit, just sit and observe, okay? Um, that is like one of the best things that you can do for being able to perceive, for being able to strengthen your intuition, to listen to that inner voice. Those are when the thing, that's when that clarity and that's when messages come to you that you can't hear when you're distracted, when you're all over the place, right? And it's so easy now, right now, everything's a damn distraction. So, 
you know, being able to cut things out and have that quiet time just to practice mindfulness, if it means sitting and eating your meal without any distractions, no, no phone, no TV, no noise in the background, just sitting and just observing or just having 10 minutes to yourself to just sit and just breathe and just think. You know what I mean? We don't take that time for ourselves. We're just constantly um, bred to be stimulated in today's world. So that is um, definitely a habit that I would slide into that. And then the last thing I would say is color therapy, okay? Because if we are dealing with vision, right, seeing, what better thing to use than color, color therapy, okay? So using that indigo um, and incorporating that into helping you um, heal or balance this energy center. And that is it. That is all I have for you. This one's kind of short. Um, it's an important energy center, but it's really not that complicated. Um, and the, this is it. This is all the stuff that you need to know. Um, if you also have other practices, rituals, anything um, that you can that you want to share it with everybody else that I didn't hit on in this video, leave it in the comments down below. Again, we're a community. We're here to help each other. Um, no one's better than anyone else. I don't know more than anybody else either. Like I'm learning and I'm sharing as I learn along this journey. So as you learn along your journey, I encourage you to share with people that, you know, around you, share with people that you know and people that you don't know. You never know who can benefit from the information, okay? So that is all I have for you. We have one more video left. Next is the crown chakra and it won't take me that long to put that one out because I'm not gonna wait too long on that one. I just kind of want to get the series wrapped so that you guys have everything that you need here. Um, oh wait, I didn't even bring it but I also want to let you know that on the website there is the um, third eye chakra tea and the third eye chakra oil. Um, I don't have either one with me. Fail fail for this video but um you can head to the website i will pop the link down below um so that you can check out those products they are amazing you can also um see the reviews on them uh they are here to help you with those energy centers you can use the tea you can use the oil i really like using the oils i use the oils every day they smell good they're all natural and they just really help with the um whole chakra um, healing and balancing and, and maintaining that so check those out below um yeah that's it okay see you guys um like share comment subscribe you know to do <laughs> see y'all in the next one